hello people welcome to another tutorial my name is Agnes in today's tutorial we'll be learning how to make this baby blanket I use the front post double crochet to achieve this ribbing effect and uh, it has these tassels that you can do away without if you don't like them this is how the back looks like and the front is this ribbing that I like so much if you're not new to this channel then you already know that this is my favorite stitch so I used three colors and each color I did 10 rows of each so it is five rows of the front post double crochet and then at the back we have what you may not see inside we have the single crochet row which is also five rows so which makes it 10 if you want to make a different size this is the size chart I did the stroller size so get your yarn ready and we are going to start so what i used in this tutorial is a tape measure of course to measure how much how long i wanted my blanket to be i used milk cotton yarn for all the three colors this doesn't give much information i got this over amazon but you can use any medium weight yarn or chunky yarn with the recommended hook size uh, for this i used a 5.0 millimeter hook for this uh, size of yarn all right so of course you'll need scissors too and let's begin so to begin you are going to make a chain equivalent to what you want your blanket size to be i will be doing a sample so i will simply chain just 28 stitches because this is a sample i already did the blanket i just wanted to show you how i made the blanket so i'm going to make a chain so make a chain equivalent to your measurements that you want for the blanket mine i did the stroller size which means i did 30 inches so i will just do 28 chains for this sample size and don't make sure your chains are not tight make them loose make them loose because we don't want a tight blanket all right so i will skip the first chain and go into the next chain this is our row one so skip the first chain go into the next chain and make a single crochet so go into your next chain make a single crochet so our row one is composed of single crochets so we are going to go into every stitch with a single crochet so make a single crochet go into every chain with a single crochet until you get to the end of your chain and then i'll come so that we can start on row two all right so i'm at the end of this row and i have my last chain here so i'm going to go into that with a single crochet so for row two we are going to chain two chains for row two chain two chains and then you will turn your work and we'll work front posts so this is how we're going to do a front post this first chain two counts as a stitch so we leave that first stitch alone but then we'll want to put a front post into this single crochet so we are going to go into it like this with a hook on this side right so you will insert your hook in the first stitch go out in the second stitch and make a front post a front post is like a double crochet it's just that it is extended instead of working in two loops we work behind a stitch so for the next one we're going to make a normal double crochet and for normal double crochet we are going to go into the next stitch here and we'll work under the two loops like you would for a normal double crochet so this is where we worked our first front post now for the next stitch will be a double crochet so you'll go into that under the two loops like this to work a normal double crochet okay so we work a normal double crochet and our next stitch is going to be a front post but look how i'm doing it so we are going to go right from 
here where we ha worked our double crochet and then come out on the other side of this third stitch right this is our first this is go in here and come out on the other side so we work a front post there now pay attention to where I work my double crochet now we are working a normal double crochet in the next stitch okay no more double crochet in the next stitch now next is a front post pay attention to how i do it i go into this space where we had our normal double crochet and then come out on the other side of the stitch like that so next is a normal double crochet where do we put it yes in this next stitch not here but in this next free stitch okay and then now is the front post the front post we are going to go in where we already had our double crochet and come out on the other side of the stitch and then next is a normal double crochet so leave this alone and go into the next stitch and work a normal double crochet so pay more attention to how i'm doing it this is just for this row you know then after the next rows will just be a continuous of what we already did so this you need to pay attention this second row okay just look how i'm doing it that's how we will do it your stitches shouldn't be so tight because we want our blanket to be soft okay all right so i'm at the end of that row too and you see i have my three stitches left so my next stitch is going to be a double crochet and then a front post And then your last stitch should be a double crochet. Make sure your last stitch is a double crochet. Okay, so we are done. That is the most difficult part about this pattern, really. So now row three, we are going to chain one. This is how it looks at the back. For row three, we are going to chain one and we're going to work a row of single crochets. So simply go into your very first stitch, which is this one, and make a single crochet. We are working in both loops go into your next stitch make a single crochet and a single crochet into the next one so we will be working a row of single crochets and then we come over it with a row of front post single crochets front post single crochets front post like that so that we have that whole ribbed part on one side so row three is going to be a row of single crochets so do that and i will meet you at the end of row three so that i will show you how we end it off and start on the next row okay so i'm coming to the end of row three and this is going to be my second last stitch you see this one here i'll put my stitch there and then my last stitch is going to be on top of the chain two do not forget that on top of the chain two that is where my last stitch is don't forget that you see it like that so next row is going to be a row of front posts what do we do we already have this done so chain two and then you see this second row that's where you work a front post so where you have a front post go under it with your hook and make a front post and next is going to be a double crochet but where are we working the double crochets in row three on top of that this is row two and this is row three so we'll go on top here on top of that double crochet where we have that single crochet and make a normal double crochet next is a front post so you'll go into under this front post to make a front post that is on row three I mean on row two sorry and next is a double crochet so a double crochet we work it at the top row this is a double crochet here we'll go on top of it at the top row and work a double crochet and then next is a front post so work a front post where you already have a front post go under the previous front post and make another front post and then we have a double crochet so we are alternating between a front post and a double crochet front post and a double crochet 
and when you check your back you will see you'll be with you are not working in the stitch where you have the front post okay let me not confuse you with so much explanation but you get it right look at what i'm doing and it will be easier to understand so where you have a front post make a front post where you have a double crochet make a double crochet and no more double crochet okay see you at the end of this row so I'm at the end of the row and this here I have a front post and your last stitch should be a double crochet as usual. So I have this stitch here. Let's make a double crochet. So we have our first four rows, right? We are starting with a double crochet and ending with a double crochet so the starting double crochet of course is a chain so chain one and you are going to work a row of single crochets here on this next row it is a row of single crochets in every stitch so work single crochets in every stitch until you get to the end of the row and then i'll meet you again just to show you one more time how to do that so you see it's an easy stitch beautiful stitch yet easy i'm coming to the end and my last stitch should be on top of the chain two okay don't forget that otherwise your work will not be straight so my next one is a front post row so chain two go over under this front post and make a front post and next is a double crochet so it is so visible now you can see then a front post and a double crochet then a front post and a double crochet so keep alternating until uh, you have enough rows if you want to change color like me it's very optional you can you may change color you use one color depends on you but if you're someone that wants to you to use different colors change color i will come and show you how you do that how you change color okay so i'm coming to the end now if i want to change color I will leave two loops like this okay instead of making the whole double crochet i'll just do half halfway when i have two loops get my other color okay and then pull through with it and chain one like this and then of course you already cut off the other one the old color and you are going to tie a knot a very tight knot so that your you know your work is tight I will tie it three times just to be sure. Okay, so we have that knot there. We are now going to work with a new color. So I'll start my single crochet row with a new color. So go in here with a single crochet into the next stitch with a single crochet with a new color. And yeah, do that until you're at the end. And once you're at the end, I'll meet you to show you how we go to the next row it's the same thing but i just want to show you okay so i'm coming to the end and my last stitch of course this is my second last stitch and my last stitch will be on top of the chain two which is right here that's my last stitch okay so for the next row you are going to chain two turn your work as usual make a front post where we have a front post so i'm just going to go here under this front post previous front post and make a front post and then i'll go in with a double crochet as my next stitch and then my next stitch will be a front post then a double crochet front post and a normal double crochet next so you can see the transition is really pretty as in it just looks awesome 
especially when you use different colors. All right, so this is going to be it. Do until you have the height of the of the of the blanket that you want. For mine, I will do until I have thirty six inches long. Okay, and we will end with a single crochet row. Okay, so once you have the height of your blanket, what you should have at the end is a single crochet row. Okay, because we want to match, you know, the the bottom with the back. I mean, with the top, like this. This is the top, a single crochet row, and then the bottom is also a single crochet row that we started with. So that's just it. Okay. So I'll see you for those who want to put the tassels. I'll see you once you have your height so I can show you how to do the tassels next. All right, so if you want to do the tassels, which is very optional, I got this box. You can use a cardboard or something. Mine is about 3.5 inches. That's how I want my how long I want my tassels to be. So I'm just going to take the yarn this will be the bottom. Cut some yarn about 10 inches and maybe and another one about 6 inches that we'll use to tie. And once you have that, then you are going to get your cardboard or whatever you have that you want to use. I'm using this air tag box. So this down here will be the bottom and I'm just going to go around with 42 times. That's if you want big ones like mine. You can do small, you can do way bigger, or you can do without. This is totally your own decision to make. Okay, so I'll go around with uh, around 42 times. Let's go faster. And I'll cut it from the bottom once I'm done. I'll get the other longer yarn. And I will slide it under. I will slide it under. I will just use my finger, my nail like this, just to slide it under. Yep, got it. And then I will move it to the top. Once at the top, then I'll try tie, pull it together and tie a knot. Like this. Uh oh. <laughs> if you can make it tighter, the better. So tie a knot up there. Not the best, but yeah, you get the point. Okay, so I'll take this off the box, line it up. And get my scissors, which are very blunt. So use sharp scissors, please and I will cut the bottom. Like that. So I have the cut bottom cut. You will, you know, get the shorter yarn now. And I'm going to just tie it around about uh, an inch down. Tight, tight. Tighter than me if you're able to. And 
and yeah you'll get your scissors and try to make it straight at the bottom so let's cut these off that are excess and there you have your tassel so we are going to tie this on to the blanket if you want to okay so i'll just go in where i want to tie it pull one part one strand in Yeah, and tie a knot. And I will just go in with a hook like this and pull this excess yarn in. And cut the excess off, of course. Yeah. So there you have it. I hope you like it. The tassel part is optional. My husband hated it, but I loved it. And the blanket is for my sister. She's having a baby and she said she wanted the tassel. So I hope you like it. I'll see you in my next tutorial. Don't forget to follow me on social media. It's AC Crochets on all platforms, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook. And please remember to share this video, like, and yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.